My part is essential to God's plan for salvation. Salvation. My part is essential. To God's plan for salvation, salvation. My part is essential to God's plan. Salvation Salvation Lesson 100 from A Course in Miracles My part is essential to God's plan for salvation. Just as God's Son completes His Father, so your part in it completes your Father's plan. Salvation must reverse the mad belief in separate thoughts and separate bodies which lead separate lives and go their separate ways. One function shared by separate minds unites them in one purpose, for each one of them is equally essential to them all. God's will for you is perfect happiness. Why should you choose to go against his will? The part that he has saved for you to take in working out his plan is given you that you might be restored to what he wills. This part is as essential to his plan as to your happiness. Your joy must be complete to let his plan be understood by those to whom he sends you. They will see their function in your shining face and hear God calling to them in your happy laugh. You are indeed essential to God's plan. Without your joy, His joy is incomplete. Without your smile, the world cannot be saved. While you are sad, the light that God Himself appointed as the means to save the world is dim and lusterless, and no one laughs because all laughter can but echo yours. You are indeed essential to God's plan. Just as your light increases every light that shines in heaven, so your joy on earth calls to all minds to let their sorrows go and take their place beside you in God's plan. God's messengers are joyous, and their joy heals sorrow and despair. They are the proof that God wills perfect happiness for all who will accept their Father's gifts as theirs. We will not let ourselves be sad today, for if we do, we fail to take the part that is essential to God's plan as well as to our own vision. Sadness is the sign that you would play another part instead of what has been assigned to you by God. Thus do you fail to show the world how great the happiness He wills for you, and so you do not recognize that it is yours. Today we will attempt to understand joy is our function here. If you are sad, your part is unfulfilled, and all the world is thus deprived of joy along with you. God asks you to be happy, so the world can see how much he loves his son and wills no sorrow rises to abate his joy. No fear besets him to disturb his peace. You are God's messenger today. You bring his happiness to all you look upon. His peace to everyone who looks on you and sees his message in your happy face. We will prepare ourselves for this today in our five-minute practice periods by feeling happiness arise in us according to our Father's will and ours. 
Begin the exercises with the thought today's idea contains. Then realize your part is to be happy. Only this is asked of you or anyone who wants to take his place among God's messengers. Think what this means. You have indeed been wrong in your belief that sacrifice is asked. You but receive according to God's plan and never lose or sacrifice or die. Now, let us try to find that joy that proves to us and all the world God's will for us. It is your function that you find it here and that you find it now. For this you came. Let this one be the day that you succeed. Look deep within you, undismayed by all the little thoughts and foolish goals you pass as you ascend to meet the Christ in you. He will be there, and you can reach him now. What could you rather look upon in place of him who waits that you may look on him? What little thought has power to hold you back? What foolish goal can keep you from success when he who calls to you is God himself? He will be there. You are essential to his plan. You are his messenger today, and you must find what he would have you give. Do not forget the idea for today between your hourly practice periods. It is yourself who calls to you today, and it is him you answer. Every time you tell yourself you are essential to God's plan for the salvation of the world. My part is essential to God's plan for salvation, salvation. My part is essential. To God's plan for salvation, salvation. My part is essential to God's plan. Salvation Salvation And now for the reflection on Lesson 100. God's will for you is perfect happiness. He says this over and over in this lesson. That God wills for you to be happy and you cannot play your essential part in God's plan for salvation unless you allow this joy to enter in, to be absorbed by your entire being, to look past all of the worldly joys that seem to satisfy you, that might one day satisfy you, and to realize that there is only one source of happiness and joy, and that is to play your role. That is to be the essential part that you are. This is what brings perfect happiness. It is what maintains perfect happiness. It is the only thing you are searching for. Period. I don't think we even need to go on. Because when you are happy, deeply, truly happy, everything else aligns. Nothing is left behind. And you feel in that divine flow where you are playing your part. And that is why you came. That is the only reason you came to this planet at this time, is to play your part. So, let's be happy and get on with it. 